Hey, this is Zero Sun, and welcome back to FTL. It's been a few weeks since I've recorded an FTL episode, so I thought I'd jump back into it. Uh, let's head straight to the hangar and see what ships we have available to us. I've got a game currently running, but I'm not sure what it was, so we'll just uh, start a new game. Let's have a look at our list of ships that we have available at the moment. Oh, there actually there must have been an update to FTL. That's interesting. Uh, this icon here used to be different. Actually, that icon there used to be different as well. Uh, that's the quest icon, and that's the cruise of victory icon. Uh, so what do we have unlocked at the moment? Quite a few ships. We've got uh, one Type B available as well. Uh, what ships have we not actually defeated the flagship with? Let's have a look. Uh, the NG Cruiser we haven't done. The Alenius Cruiser we haven't done. And the Slug Cruiser Type A we haven't done. And also... No, we've actually we've done the Mantis Cruiser. And the Mantis Cruiser B, we've also done the Mantis Cruiser Type A. Um, I think we'll go for the Slug Cruiser Type A. Let's have a quick look at the ship before we start. Manti Biobeam. A breach bomb and dual lasers. A crew of just two slug crew members, interesting. A Zimu and Kara. Slug repair gel, which automatically repairs slug breaches. Uh, any systems missing on this ship? Got shields, engines, oxygen, three weapons power, med bay, piling, and doors. No sensors. Uh, that's fine, but slugs can actually sense the uh, position of enemy crew members on board our own ship and other ships. Okay, I think we'll start the run. Uh, we, if we can use the anti bio beam, that'll be good because it'll actually get us some crew kills. We gotta get some extra, extra scrap early in the game. Uh, so we're gonna leave it difficulty as normal. Advanced edition content is enabled, and let's start the run. We can go into nebulas with this ship, we do have uh, the slug crew members so we can detect enemy crew positions like this, even inside nebulas. Royal Captain appears on the screen, I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in command's good graces, charge the weapons. Put a pulse on the background, which is never my favourite. Uh, I can always disable something that you really need really urgently. They've got a missile and a heavy laser, we've got just a single shield. I've only got one shot, so the missile's the real threat here. I think what we'll do is we'll breach their shields and then we'll use the dualizers on their weapons. Relatively fast charge times and very slow charge time for the anti bio beams. So we probably won't be using that until later on. Looks like a shot's going to doors or possibly an empty room. Our breach bomb hits, does one uh, hull breach and also takes one damage on their shields. Okay, we've got the missile offline, that's the important thing. Pulsar has gone off, but it hasn't actually disabled our weapons. They're still firing their heavy laser. Our shields are down, so we're going to take a shot here. As long as it's not on weapons, we should be okay. Piloting. Let's get that repaired. Breach bomb is ready. That we've got their weapons down. Let's switch over to their shields. We'll see if we can do this with only the uh, dual lasers. Probably not. Let's breach their weapons. Go for their shields. We're going to probably use more bombs than I really like to do in the early game here. Do we get some proper weapons online? Firing up the FTL. And they're not going to be able to jump away without their pilot on the uh, piloting system. FTL's delayed. We have to stay on their weapons because they keep on getting that repaired. We've actually managed to kill one of their crew members there. Since I don't have their crew member on the piloting system, we should be fine. I don't think they'll have an autopilot. A little bit unlikely for a ship this early in the game. And they've swapped, so this guy's getting healed up. They swapped crew members then. Another missile coming in. Shot to auction, we'll get it repaired in a minute. Three damage, uh, three or four damage it looks like. Ship explodes, we get three fuel, two missiles and 13 scrap. Got one crew member that needs healing up as well. Kara, you can get healed up straight away. Can we jump away? Yes, we can, before the next pulsar goes off. Let's do that. Jump into a field of debris. It appears a battle recently took place here, and the loser seems to have been a civilian ship. Message was left on repeat before it was destroyed. Rebels attacking. Please send aid. Re uh, responsible rebels are likely still nearby. Go looking for the rebel ship. Uh, the possibility here is that we're going to waste time and the fleet's going to catch up, but uh, it's early in the game, so let's give it a shot. 
After a short search, you find the rebel ship. Let's hope he has. Uh, he's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. If he's only got the one heavy one, he will be. Oh, he's got a combat one, so it may not be. Let's uh, breach their shields. It's going to be a test of our shield speed here. See if we can keep it uh, keep it up. And weapons. drones will be next. Uh, let's keep on breaching their shields here. Hull breach in their shield system will mean it'll take them a long time to repair that. There's their drones. Let's go to their piloting next. How many bombs do we have left? 13. We can still use our bombs if we need to. Nice. Offering a surrender. Six fuel, nine scrap. The fuel is nice, but scrap's pretty low. We should be able to finish them off here pretty quick. They're swapping crew members left and right. They might actually be out of oxygen in that shield drone. I just noticed they don't have a med bay either. That's fine. I'd like to destroy these guys. I'm thinking maybe switching over to the anti bio beam for the crew kill. Ship explodes, then we had a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Uh, one fuel or one drone part, 17 scrap. Um, the one upgrade I would look to do relatively early is more engine power. Because. We do have spare power. And we can switch out uh, that. And then we can also maybe do one more. No, we can't. We need 30 for the next level. I think that a little bit of extra engine evasion will be uh, helpful in the uh, later game. Help us avoid damage early on. You recognize the ship as a well-owned slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Uh, we don't have enough money. Uh, do we want to fight these guys? They've got some sort of iron weapon and a missile. We might get another crew member, so I think we will. Yep. We use the same uh, strategy again. Breach on their shields and then dual lasers on their weapons. Breach away. It hits. Didn't actually take down their shields, though. Well, we've got uh, weapon damage. Our dual lasers are still up. They've got a human doing repair on shields and a mantis doing repair on their weapons. Let's try for shields one more time. Vent weapons. Turn the oxygen off. Let's vent from both sides of the ship. Our oxygen's off. Vent, please. Before the weapon... Oh, weapon's destroyed. Damn. Can we get it repaired in time? I don't think so. They're going to get their shields back up here. Well, the shields are back up, but they might get their shields fully repaired. Let's see if we can get our both of our weapons repaired. We only need to get two weapons repaired, two weapon bars repaired. Okay, let's get you guys back on the stations. They got their shields back up. Um, let's power the breach. Let's go for their weapons. Nice, back to their shields. Uh, missile away from them. Uh, our version is 25. It should be. There is a small chance we'll be able to avoid this. Let's close the doors. We, we do. Nice. Do we want to use the breach here? Yeah, I want to use the breach on their piloting system. Cut their version down permanently here. They've got two crew members repairing their shields. Another missile. Hit to an empty room. They're actually smartly uh, powering their missile instead of their iron weapon. I'm using a lot more bombs than I would like to. And we'll take the crew member. It's always worthwhile in the early game to take the uh, crew members if they're offered. You don't get that much scrap and crew members are worth a lot more than the amount of scrap you'd be offered anyway. So their systems are still popping. And we've got a couple of crew members that need healing as well. Nice. Save crew positions and jump on. So I'm across the forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. They're pairing up their FDL. They've also got a combat drone. And a missile and a basic laser. Fairly well equipped ship for the early game on medium. On normal. Same strategy again. I think it'll still be the best uh, best way to go. We need the uh, scrap here so we can get the second shield online. I think that's going to 
save us a lot of uh, damage. Shields down. I think I can hear it's the fire on either on our ship or on their ship. If it's on our ship, we can do this. Turn the oxygen off. Don't need med bay. I actually should have had my engines fully powered there as well. And we will... Um, should we try and do this with just the dual lasers or should we continue using the breach? I'm going to breach their shields one more time here, just to make sure. This fire is in their weapons room, I can see them trying to put the fire out. Drone next. Oh crap, so is our oxygen's down as well. I must have left the door open somewhere. It's fine, we should be able to recover. Breach is ready if we need it. Come on, oxygen. Dual lasers ready. Let's go back to their weapons. Go to their pilot next. Getting their weapons repaired pretty quickly, so if we just stay on their weapons, we might be okay. Looks like they're pretty intent on getting those repaired. Yeah, and they're losing crew members along the way as well. She breaks apart. We get one fuel, one missile, 14 scrap. Not that much, really. How much do we need for the next shield? 50 plus reactor power, so about 90. It's doable. Probably two or three encounters. Asteroids, always dangerous with a single shield. Automated ship with a hacking drone, missile and a heavy laser. We'll have to go for the same strategy again. Breach to the shields. If we can breach their shields early here actually, it might be pretty helpful. The asteroids will probably finish them off for us. Oh, thanks. The, uh, that's the uh, missile launch and actually destroyed our uh, breach bomb. No, that can't be right. I'm not sure what happened to our breach bomb then. It just must have missed. Uh, you can't get out of there, can you? And our piling's down. We have to keep on breaching. We'll have to breach their weapons. Otherwise, we're going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, let's send you in to help with the fire. Let's see if we can get this fire. Although, this guy's taking damage. Uh, well, the fire can't uh, spread because we've got blast tools. So let's put uh, both you guys into med bay. Turn the oxygen off temporarily. Let's breach their weapons if we can, please. Nice. Missiles down at least. Let's take their shields. Nope. Okay. Weapons is the priority next. Target their uh, shields. It's an automated chip, so it will take them a little bit of time to get their uh, systems repaired. Do they have mind control or something? Where are you going? Oh, that's right. I told you to go there ages and ages ago. You actually managed to finally break down the door. Uh, let's turn in the engines for a second and put oxygen on instead. You can go back to engines. Let's open up the internal doors. Uh, is not quite ready. Let's target their shield system. Taking a lot of damage here. Okay, back to stations. No, oh, no, not back to stations. <laughs> I thought that fire would be out by, by now, but it's not. Let's target their weapons. Whew, that was a lot of damage. Uh, ship explodes, we get one fuel, one drone part, 14 scrap. Let's wait for that fire to go out. Yeah, with only a single shield in the asteroid field, it doesn't take much for a lot of damage to happen. Do not have to hurry that up. It's taking a long time for that fire to go out. Uh, you can get healed up. Actually, they all need healing, so it doesn't really matter who I get to do the repairs. So I put the auction back on. Uh, so I still need more scrap to get the uh, shields upgraded. We also need a little bit of scrap to do some repairs to the ship now. Still early days though, and on normal you can recover from this sort of position, so we'll keep going for now. Just waiting for the FDL to charge. Off we go. Let's 
small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort, and it's cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Too risky, especially considering our state. Ignore the refueling platform, and it's a trap. As we prepare to leave the system, a pirate ship suddenly appears on the scan. It looks like it was attempting to use the platform as bait. Burst laser, heavy laser. They've got nice weapons as well. Breach on. Target their shields. It's slightly risky doing this, actually, because... Um, does mean they're going to get the first shot, although the burst will probably take slightly longer. Go breach. Hits. Go for their weapons. They managed to get their shots away. Our evasion's at 25%. Hopefully it's enough to miss one of these shots. It is. Perfect. Uh, we're going to have to keep on using these breaches, I think. Um, let's try for their weapons. With the dualizers. Let's see if we can get lucky with the, just the dualizers. We can. Back over to their shields. Okay. Uh, we got the uh, message in about them trying to jump away. Ooh, O2 is Lou. Let's put that back on. We don't need our version. That's new as well. I don't think it uh, gave the warning before. So I've updated that as well. Excellent. Two fuel, one drone part, 16 scrap. No stalls so far. In the uh, starting sector is a uh, civilian sector, so there should be a couple of stalls here. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. The crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Pike beam, heavy laser. Uh, nothing else we need to worry about. We'll go for the same strategy again. They've hacked our engines, so we might as well power the med bay. Reach to their shields. We've only got five misses. We haven't been picking up that many missiles. Not the weapon. Oh, I suppose it doesn't really matter. As long as one of their weapons is down, we should be fine. They've got uh, NGs doing repairs. No one on piloting, though. Uh, let's breach their piloting system. Cut their evasion down. Hopefully we can finish them off. They've got an NG, so they might be able to get the repairs on here really quickly. Miss, do we want to use another breach? I don't think we can afford it. We've only got three left. Unless we can swap out for a different weapon. It's a bit dangerous to uh, use up all of our bombs. We're getting some weapons experience, I suppose. They've got their weapons back online and their shields more or less. We're going to have to use the breach. Could. Let's have a quick look see if there's any stores there isn't. This could be a wrap. If we use up all our bombs here and we start to. Uh, we don't encounter another store soon, it could be pretty hard to proceed. Okay, another breach bomb. Fortunately, repairing things faster than I can actually uh, do damage, like that, for example. And their evasion is high enough that uh, I'm gonna have to breach them again. I think we have finally killed their NG crew. We've got no bombs left, though. So we're in a bit of a problem here. Uh, I think most fights we encounter at this point we'll probably have to just avoid until we can find a store. Now, it hull's pretty badly damaged as well. The pirate ship destroyed. Your ship system is restored to full functionality. Salvage what you can. 3 fuel, 12 scrap, no missiles. Let's get the uh, medbay repaired. Yeah, no, no bombs left. Don't have enough to upgrade the shields. Let's actually, I do. Let's upgrade the shields. We'll steal power from other things to run them. We have to get pretty lucky, uh, lucky with combat encounters now if we want to actually win fights. Scans indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Um, stay out of it. Aid the civilian ship. 
We can always run away. Let's aid them. Holy cow. <laughs> We've got a burst too. It's probably not the best decision. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll take their weapons. We'll probably jump away from this if we can. Let's power the engines fully. Yep. Very, very lucky. Gives us one more shot with our dual lasers. We need to get that burst two down if we've got any chance. We've got a rock man doing the repairs. Nope. Oh well. We've still got uh, spec. You know what? Maybe we can do this. It'll be a very long fight if we can. Just lock onto their weapons. It doesn't look like their rock man can repair the uh, weapon system quickly enough. So if we, if we can keep on getting through. What's our uh, weapons experience like at the moment? It's about two thirds of the way there. We can jump away at any time. Let's have a quick look to see if there's any stores. And there is not. Distress beacon. We'll probably have to go distress this beacon and then the exit, I think. So no stores. We may actually get lucky, I think, in these guys. Their evasion seems to be pretty low. A lot of our shots actually managed to, managing to get through. We actually have to hit twice. Once to take down the shields. Damn, our oxygen's low. Yeah. Fortunately, the uh, rock crew member that's doing the repairs is very slow at doing the repairs. Oops. We can keep the auction on now. And we get one fuel, one missile, and 12 scrap. Finally, we got the missile. And the civilians give us five health points, nice. We've got one entire missile now. Let's check out the distress beacon. I should probably get uh, Raffin healed up as well. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks like we're fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. The distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Too risky. Ignore the ship. No stalls. Okay. Gonna have to wait for the sector two if we get another weapon, it looks like. We don't have any missiles to sell, so we can't do that. On to the exit we go. Not the best uh, first sector. Since we've picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. Hold then. As you hold the refugee ship, a pirate ship jumps into the system. It was using the refugee ship as bait. Another burst too, and a heavy, and a heavy laser. Rock and a human crew member. Uh, can we do this with burst laser with dual laser? Only? We do have a breach. Oh, uh, let's get it powered just in case. Turn the option off temporarily. We have to get lucky with our first jewel here, and we do. Oh, I don't. It doesn't take down their burst too though. Um, do we risk all and go for the uh, the breach? I think we do. We've got lucky. Managed to get their burst two down. We've got no missiles left again. Depending on what their evasion is like. Ooh, and it's gonna be low now because they've moved although because they've moved that rock crew member over to the weapons, they're gonna get the repairs done faster. O2's low again. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep up with their repair speed here. Although they don't have uh, anyone on piling, so we're all probably guaranteed to get the hit. If only we had more bombs. Although, what we can do, we've got two shields. Let's knock one of the shields, let's power the anti bio beam. Keep on targeting their weapon, we'll see if we can get the bio kill instead. Are you going to stay on piloting? Uh, anti bio beams, we only need one hit get their shields down, then we use anti bio beam. One crew member dead, nice, that means their evasion is going to be nice and low. Perfect. And one more shot, hopefully this one shot will be enough to actually kill this remaining crew member. Just need to get their shields down, our, pile, our weapons guy is leveled up. And we get the crew kill, nice. The pirate ship now, devoid of, now empty of life forms. Provides easy salvage, three fuel, one drone part, 21 scraps, still no missiles. Oh, we did get a missile from the refugees though. 
plus one fuel and eight scrap. Not bad. We need to find a store pretty urgently, uh, but that's into the first sector. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, pretty uh, pretty average first sector. Only thing we've really managed to do is get the engines and shields upgraded a little bit. Uh, we'll probably look to change out the weapons. I'm not a huge fan of the breach bomb, so maybe if we can get another laser online, that would be ideal. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.